Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church. We're out here at our lake house this weekend. It's spring break in Texas, which means crawfish season. You guys know me for my barbecue, but I've been boiling crawfish for over 20 years. You've been asking, now it's time for me to show you guys how to boil crawfish. We got one of our sacks of crawfish here, trucked in from Louisiana last night. Got them from my buddy Atkins Seafood in Waxahachie. Still pretty early in the season, but I think these are looking pretty decent size. I'm just gonna run this fresh water in over these crawfish to clean them off and to purge them until the water runs clean and until this daddy says it's all good because this dude is clearly the leader of the pack. Get the undercarriage. Hey, buddy. As you guys can see, this water's running really clear now. It's not dirty like it was when we started. So we're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna let this drain out. We're gonna carry this Yeti up to the cooker. Today we're gonna cook them 150 quart loco cookers that'll hold two sacks. You could do the same recipe on a smaller rig like this 100 quart model, but we're gonna go with the big boy today. First things first, we gotta fill it up with water. Jack, fire up the water. Now it's time to light this baby. I love all the innovation Loco Cookers have brought to crawfish cooking rigs, including this igniter. This bad boy has four jet burners, 160,000 BTUs of cooking power. This thing's gonna sound like a Harley. Hell yeah, we're gonna be cooking in like 15 minutes at this speed. Time to season the water. So this part depends on how spicy you want it. You can use the liquid, you can use the powder. I like Louisiana crawfish boil mix. Also gonna throw in some of our holy voodoo. The more you put in, the spicier you get it. If you really want to kick up the heat, throw in some cayenne. I want to season my water a little bit more. Tips I learned from Cajun friends, lots of lemons. Woo, it smells amazing. that squeeze. Got some garlic that we've cut open. Some big white onions, quartered. How many? However many you want. And a little old Cajun lady told me a long time ago, you can never have enough butter, real butter. Mm. Now that our water's boiling, we're gonna add our potatoes and sausage. We got all kinds of sausage here today, about three or four different kinds. You can use whatever you like, I like andouille. Uh, we've got some venison from some whitetail we killed this year. We've got some uh, jalapeno cheddar. We've got some pork sausage and a bunch of red potatoes. How much do you need? However much it takes to fill your family up. It's 
time to add the crawfish. I'm gonna take this crazy spoon, lift up my basket. Now we can load our crawfish right in here on top of the potatoes and sausage that have been cooking. Yeah, are we good, Kurt? Okay, you can, you can take it. Let me go. I got it. Just put the crawfish in. They're gonna boil really quick. I'm gonna try to boil these crawfish for just about three minutes or so, and then we're gonna let them soak. I'm gonna throw some other stuff in the soak as well, some other vegetables that don't need as much heat that everybody's gonna love to eat. All right, we've been boiling here about three minutes. Now I'm gonna drop in stuff that really doesn't have to cook long. As these soak, they'll uh, get some great flavor. So we're gonna throw some mushrooms and some corn in. We're gonna kill the fire. And if you got some non-crawfish eaters, don't be afraid to drop in a little shrimp. Give it a stir kill the fire and we're gonna let this stuff soak for 30 to 45 minutes so these crawfish suck in all that seasoning they get nice and spicy longer the soak more spice we're gonna get I found you can throw anything you want in your boil you want some serious heat how about some cauliflower want some prettiness how about that asparagus trust me super good All right, all this stuff's been soaking for about 30 minutes. As you can hear from my crowd, they can't wait anymore. So it's time to dump these into a Yeti and pour them on the table and eat family style. So y'all saw this was really easy. There's, you know, a lot of options with crawfish boil. You can make it your own. You can add more stuff than we added, add less, you know, kind of whatever you like. Most important thing is to share this with a ton of family and friends. Full recipe is gonna be below in the comments. Be sure you subscribe to the channel. We're outdoors cooking all the time for y'all, bringing you recipes every week. Joe, me gotta go.